Hello there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncasterborn, Bods, built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park news update, the third of the final videos where today we're going to analyse the triple launch coaster concept by Intamin Amusement Rides. Uh, so again, just like usual, we're going to have a look at the video to speak about each element in detail bit by bit and share my, th my early thoughts during the POV and then detail my thoughts afterwards. So... Before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that case bell so you don't miss a YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links, Google Forms link, and also guys, see the original video link. Obviously as of recording this, it is unlisted on YouTube as is the other two, but if you have the link, you can watch it. So I've left the link in the description down below so you can watch it for yourself. And also subscribe to Intamin's YouTube channel, there's some really good stuff. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the triple launch coaster concept by Intamin. So here we go, guys. Intamin Amusement Rides have released the triple launch concept. Now, uh, this is the 228-602-777 LSM coaster model with three unique airtime experiences during launch, which is unbelievable. And uh, Now, this also has 15 dynamic elements in a small footprint, which is unbelievable. I can't believe the footprint size of this ride. Now, this has six head chopper elements didn't get those in the other two and uh, as well guys uh, this looks like an overall fantastic coaster so leaving the station uh, you go straight into the switch track now this goes this gives off the triple launch element of the ride now the switch track does its business as you are facing backwards now what you do is you launch forwards then you go up a unique airtime hill. You pass three times for three different airtime experiences, by the way. So on the unique airtime hill, you go through a forward stall. And then you roll back, launch backwards, through there, up the vertical spike, giving off no Gs of force, by the way. Then you come down the vertical spike. You launch forward at a top speed point of 79 kilometers an hour into the top pack, giving off, again, no Gs. Uh, now, it's a very similar top pack to the first coaster. Now, with 0 0.3 negative G floating airtime hump into a vertical loop inversion, which is very nice. A bit of a blue fire type uh, element there. Into a stangle dive, giving off 0.3 negative Gs. Into a high G curve. Into the horseshoe roll inversion over the station, which is a wonderful element there. Into an overbank turn and twist through the loop, by the way. Into a high speed corkscrew inversion. Now, after the high speed corkscrew, you go into a high speed overbank turn over, well, looking over some rock work. Into a 0.9 negative G airtime hill. And after a 0.75 negative G, jump into the brakes. Now, my thoughts on this coaster. This is very much like a smaller footprint version of uh, Tutalis, the one that's coming to Park Asterix in 2023. Now, do I mind that? Absolutely not. I think there's a few combinations of coaster in this particular layout. Obviously, like I said, the vertical loop gives me vibes of... Um, yeah, of Blue Fire at Europa Park, which is a Mac launch coaster. Uh, so I think Intamin were kind of inspired by Blue Fire from my perspective uh, on that particular element in this layout. Uh, obviously, the, the triple uh, launch, the sort of past launch, gives me vibes of Tutalis at uh, Park Asterix in 2023. And obviously, other coasters like uh, Icebreaker, for example, to some extent at SeaWorld Orlando, which is a Premier Rides launch coaster. Uh, so I think there's some elements that are uh, inspired by other coasters. Obviously, you've got the classic Intamin Mega Coaster type elements like the the walls uh, like the overbank turns and the uh sort of outer outer turns and things like that obviously a couple of inversions in there like the corkscrew and the the horse and the uh, the vertical loop and etc but overall i think this coaster is absolutely fan dabby dozy so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages that is speaking about the triple launch coaster by intermin rides Oh boy, I love this one already. Uh, now, I love all of them, by the way. The first one, the second one, and the third one. I think that, again, like I said, I think it's taken inspiration from other coasters. Blue Fire with the loop. Um, Tutalis or Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando with uh, the triple pass. Uh, top speed point 79 kilometers an hour. That's pretty good for a, for a triple launch coaster. Um, now, I'd be interested to see again which parks take this. And I might do another video uh, either tomorrow or sometime this week. Um, sort of looking in detail as to what park could benefit from you know each layout 
So I might do uh, three separate videos again where I'll look at which parks will take the single launch coaster, which parks will take the double launch, which will take the triple launch. So, uh, yeah, please help me in the comments down below what parks you think should take the uh, the single launch, the double launch, and the triple launch. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for listening to this little analysis on the triple launch coaster. Go back and watch the other two as well. It's well worth the watch. And uh, for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill in the Coaster Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an intimate. Fantastic day.